FSR 3.1 is a big deal. Why should you care? Well, what if I told you no matter the GPU you're using right now, there's the potential to two times or even three times your FPS absolutely effortlessly. Yeah, that's what's gonna be possible with FSR 3.1. FSR 3 has always been compatible with the different GPU teams, offering anyone its upscaler and frame gen tech. Something Nvidia claims was not possible due to special hardware in the 40 series cards, essentially cock blocking their own 30 and 20 series cards from having frame gen. Something AMD clearly showed is possible on a variety of cards. AMD cares about all gamers, so we enabled FSR 3 not just to work on Radeon graphics cards, to work on any graphics card. <laughs> But as great as AMD's frame gen was, there has always been a major limiting factor. Compared to Nvidia's DLSS, AMD's FSR upscaling looks really bad. These artifacts like temporal stability and ghosting are really noticeable and rough. But as showcased by this grainy as fuck super low res GIFs, AMD showcases the improved temporal stability at rest and in movement, so there's less flickering or any weird fuzziness around objects in motion. And ghosting has been reduced. But what's really a big deal about this is that FSR's frame gen tech now can work independently to the upscaling systems, which means FSR frame gen can now work with other upscaling tech like DLSS and XESS. This allows us to mix and match upscalers with frame generation, which is great for any GPU that isn't a NVIDIA 40 series graphics card. So if your GPU doesn't have access to DLSS 3 frame generation from NVIDIA, now with FSR 3.1, you could combine team green and red to create some weird brown stain that'll most probably double your FPS with no extra effort. While AMD has mentioned Ratchet & Clank will be getting FSR 3.1 later this year, we have no news on when it will be released across all other games. For now, you can expect FSR 3 to be released for these games here.